Most people would say that the source of tears comes from tragedy. Mine, however, came from an intense hula hoop contest. Yes, you heard that right, a hula hoop contest. It all began when I was riding in the back seat of my mom's silver Honda. I was four years old and admiring the massive cruise ships in Cape Canaveral, wondering which one I was about to get onto. We finally arrived and I saw the enormous ship. I felt like a puny little ant compared to it. I was so excited to see what the next few days held. Little did I know something would happen that I would remember forever. On the third day of the cruise, I went to the pool with my family. I heard sounds of splashing over and over in the water and loud music playing. Everyone was smiling and enjoying themselves over a drink or even an ice cream cone. I was ready to cannonball right into the pool when one of the staff members grabbed a microphone and began to make an announcement. Hula hoop contest for all ages in five minutes. Five minutes, come up to the stage if you would like to participate. Winner gets a prize. My eyes widened as I heard the announcement. I wanted that prize. But there was one thing wrong in the situation. I didn't know how to hula hoop. I looked at my parents and they told me to go for it. It seemed pretty useless because I had no idea how to use this big plastic ring. However, I decided to do it. I got up on that stage so confidently, grabbed the hula hoop, and waited for the staff member to count down. Three, two, one, go. I quickly tried to spin the hula hoop and work my hips to keep it moving. Unfortunately, the hula hoop fell onto the stage in about 0.3 seconds. I felt so embarrassed and wanted to just go up to the room and cry. I wished I would have done better. Days went by and my family and I returned back home. After that hula hoop contest, I did not stop begging my parents to buy me one. I told myself that I would never lose a contest ever again, so I needed to learn. Eventually, they gave in and bought me one. I remember it so vividly. It was pink, of course, with silver sparkles, and it was the kind of hula hoop that has water in it to make it heavier, because I heard those were the easiest to learn with. As soon as I got that hula hoop in my hand, I didn't put it down until I mastered it. I learned how to master hula hooping in 48 hours, two days. It only took me two days to learn something that I literally cried over just a few days before. All I needed was that change in my attitude in order to tell myself that I can learn. Now, many years later, I think back to the time I worked so hard to learn how to use a hula hoop. The lessons we take from failure can be fundamental to our leader's success. At the time, I didn't think I would even remember learning how to hula hoop. However, today, I know that sometimes even the smallest things can help me succeed in my future. When I learned how to hula hoop, it also led me to learn more about myself. When I want to achieve something, whether it's a skill, a grade, or a goal, I will not stop until I get it. And ever since that hula hoop contest on a cruise ship when I was four, I have never lost one again.